So let's practice our new octet rule with some examples that we used earlier. So particularly with the hunk rule, we talked about water, carbon dioxide, and ammonia. So taking a look here, we've got, um, we've got to start out with water, H2O. In the hunk rule, we looked at how many bonds each, each um, atom could take. Here we're going to look at the Lewis dot structure. So if we take our oxygen, start out with that, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in our, um, in our valence shell, in our Lewis dot structure. This is for oxygen. We also then have our hydrogen with a one and our other hydrogen with another one. So if we put that together, then we end up with something that looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with shared electrons on either side. Or sure, sorry, yes, shared hydrogens. Taking a look now at our CO2, carbon dioxide, oops, carbon dioxide. So CO2, we've got our carbon in the middle and our oxygen on either side. Oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. That's the same with our other oxygen. And then we also have our carbon. And I'm actually going to write the carbon like this, one, two, three, four. So what would happen if we actually took one of our electrons and put it over here on this side, and then this electron and put it over here on this side? So we then have carbon on either side and oxygen then here. So we have carbon with eight electrons. We have oxygen now shared with eight electrons and our other oxygen with eight electrons. So with some nice sharing, our carbon and oxygen make carbon dioxide. Our last one that we took a look at was ammonia, ammonia which is ammonia, NH3. So here we've got, let's put our N in the middle with two electrons, a uh, lone pair on top with our Lewis dot structure of unpaired electrons uh, on the other three sides. Then we have a hydrogen with an electron, a hydrogen with an electron, a hydrogen with an electron. We're going to put those together so that we end up with Let's uh, put those together over here so that we end up with N, H, 3. So our hydrogens have each have two electrons and our nitrogen has eight.